Hi, so I just wanted to do a quick video to demonstrate the barometer temperature range of sensors. This is a small part of the range, but uh, in particular, I wanted to show the uh, the TER8 flush mount sensor, our fully hygienic with display uh, TFRH sensor, standard TE2, and our brand new PT20 fast response tip sensor. So I'm going to show you um, a little bit of a demonstration on how quickly the new fast response tip will, will uh, actually respond to changes in temperature. Um, we've got a glass here of, of cold water and a glass of hot water. Uh, but first of all, I just want to go through the range very quickly. Uh, the the TER8 is our flush mountable sensor. So ideal for use in pipe with pigging systems or it tanks with scrapers and stirrers uh, where you cannot have any intrusions into the pipe. Our TFRH is our fully hygienic food and beverage type approved um, te uh, temperature transmitter with all the approvals 3A, EH, EDG, lots of different hygienic connections like tri-clamp, Baumer hygienic connection, etc. The T2 is our uh, commodity type temperature transmitter range. We've also now brought out a brand new PT20 sensor with brand new electronics and also a very fast reacting tip which we'll come on to. So now we'll show some of the experiments. Okay, so to the experiment. What I've got is our TR8 flush sensor, as I said. Uh, I've got some cold water and some hot water. I've all got this uh, hooked up to our sensor tester to show the, the milliamp output. There are 4 to 20 milliamp uh, signal uh, set up out of the factory as 0 to 120 degrees C. At the moment we're reading around about 6 milliamps uh, in, in ambient air. So the reason for the experiment, I just want to show the, the difference in response speeds, in particular uh, with reference to our new very fast reacting PT20, which we'll come on to. So just to show you this, uh, this sensor here, if I put it in the cold water, you'll see the display on the sensor tester change, slowly going down. If I then take this out and put it in the hot water, this will start to increase. So gradually six, It gives you an idea of the response time of the, the TER8 sensor. Okay, so now we'll move on to our TE2 sensor. This has got a standard response tip, 4 to 20 milliamp output again. And if we put it in the cold water, you'll see on the display, the value starts to drop. And then if we switch to the hot water, you see a rise a little bit quicker than the TER8. Okay, and finally, let's have a look at the PT20. This is our uh, brand new temperature transmitter. It's based on the 2212 and 2222 um, technology, so uh, updated technology. It's also got a fast response tip on it. Um, and compared to some of the other sensors, the response time for this is is down as low as uh, about 1.1 second. So you'll see uh, on the display visibly how quick this reacts to, to temperature changes. So the same again, we'll put it in the cold water. You see instantly that drops to 4 milliamps. We'll put it in the hot water. You can just see how quickly that ramps up to almost 90% or the tau 90 target of the uh, the liquid itself. So a much faster than responding tip. And this is our new PT20 temperature transmitter. So just to summarize, uh, this is our a part of our temperature transmitter range uh, from Bauma. We've got the, uh, the flush mount version, so ideal in pigging systems and um, tanks with stirrers, etc. Our uh, hygienic temperature transmitter with uh, display, touchscreen programmable display, our TE2 technology and also the brand new PT20 fast reacting tip.